Now here is a woman who has been a registered nurse, a fashion model, a nude model, most recently a freelance photographer, who has snapped titillating and scintillating photographs for the magazines that include Playboy, Penthouse, We, Hustler, and Chic magazines. Her name is Suze Randall. They call her Suze. She calls her book the same name. That's Suze Randall, the young English woman who climbed from the respectability of being a midwife to the infamy of the centrefolds of girly magazines. My next guest is a lady who not only photographed a great many of the nude centrefolds for Playboy, but also has been one of the models herself. Would you welcome the incredible Suze? We have Suze Randall, photographer for Playboy. On both sides of the lens, Suze Randall. Hi, I'm Suze Randall. And I was lucky enough to be one of the first female photographers for Playboy. I mean, if you're a woman and you've got balls, you can fuck them every which way you want. And I did. Before I became a model, I was a nurse. The matron said I was lucky I wasn't thrown out because I didn't do what they told me to do. But I was very good with the patients. I liked resuscitating people. I resuscitated one patient and then the doctor comes through the curtains and says, nurse, he's not for resuscitation. I love being a nurse. I love taking care of people. I think that's what helped me be a really good photographer because I was really very concerned about how the models felt and that they were relaxed. They would be relaxed because they had this silly girl behind the camera who didn't know what she was doing. So they didn't sort of take it so seriously. Um, and also, a lot of people were on drugs those days, so I, I resuscitated a lot of the models and got them into rehab and kicked their ass. Oh, you sex bomb. And started photographing my girlfriends behind the scenes. That's how I became a photographer. Maya seemed to have dropped my magazines. It was the swinging 70s, so everybody was being naughty, and I captured it. I mean, I was just so lucky that Playboy flew me over because Hefner fell in love with one of the models that I was shooting, Lillian Muller, and then they tried to send me back. And I said, well, I might have to sell my pictures to Penthouse then, won't I? So they kept me, and <laughs> they taught me, and put up with me, and I used to get the party started at the mansion anyway, flashing my bush in their faces. <gasps> of course, it was Hugh Hefner and Playboy who, who started all this. Well, obviously, mm -hmm. he didn't start it, but he, he glamorized it. He seemed yes. to make it more acceptable. Mm -hmm. you, you once worked for, for Hefner. Yes, in fact, he flew me over to America. As a photographer? Yes, as a, as a photographer. Mother. But that all ended when she told him she was writing a book. This book, about Hefner, his empire, and herself. And I kept telling Hef's assistant, oh, that's okay, um, he won't mind, as long as you don't talk about drugs. Well, I never did drugs with him anyway, I wasn't that close. I just, you know, occasionally did a gangbang. But she never told him. So I thought, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, all the time that he knew. He found out and he was furious. He actually spat in my face and had me marched out of the mansion. <laughs> my bad behavior doesn't always work so well. <laughs> I never thought about the quality of my work, actually. I just lived in the moment. My husband would edit it. He was the perv of the family. Harvey was really, really brilliant and always thinking ahead. I got thrown out of Playboy. I fought with Larry Flint. Then I started shooting for myself, so I owned the pictures. And we had a website out before any of the big mags or anything. We were way ahead of it because of Humphrey, my brilliant man. It's all his fault that I was so successful. I did it so that we could make money and he could become famous as a writer. But in the end, I got it all. We'll still make him famous. Now he's dead. God damn it. So this is... No, no, no. Don't talk until... So this is the original Sue's book that Humphrey and I created. Ah. Sue's, Playboy's number one photographer. From shabby London basements to Chicago's unique bunny ranch from the goosebump squalor 
of Coldwater Studios to the hot hospitality of Hugh Hefner's bubbling jacuzzi. And the ultimate private playboy party where Suze Randall became success. <laughs> God, I'd never read, read that before. <laughs>